I like that. Well, I haven't been on for a long time. Um, as you can see, the lost full of racing pigeons on. Just got hammered by the peregrine last year. Bred 30 triplets. Um, lost them all within about eight weeks to the peregrines. Just every time I let them out, they were taking them. Um, over the last five years, it's just got too much. I won't even lose them, one or two birds. But last year, we had another pair of peregrines not far from the house. So that was two pairs within a mile. And um, they were just using them tipplers as a target practice. So anyway, I've been wanting to raise pigeons now for years. I just couldn't make the jump from the tipplers to the racing pigeons. But uh, obviously with the peregrines, I've been pushed into it now. Which is for the better, to be honest. I mean, we started off this year, we just had about four late breads, old beds, we raced them, we had two right to the last couple of races, um, sent them over to France the last two, we lost them, just got low positions in the club all season, obviously because we only had four beds racing against 50 and 60 beds every week from everyone else. But, um, they got us into it, so we knew what we were doing after we raced them. Um, then obviously we got a load of young birds from all the members of our club, and I bought some from other people. We had about 35, 40 young ones. Um, we only raced 14 of them, the older ones, and we ended up with 11 at the end of the season. And we had some low positions in the club, but we were only a few minutes off. Um, some of the top flyers, so we were quite happy with the, with the first season. Some of these are on pot eggs, I've well, just left them all together. These are the old, the young birds that we raced, the ones that we had left. Um, probably hear some squeaking down there, that's just off a really good pair of pigeons I've got off a top flyer. I just got a couple of real light breads off them just to use for breeding next season. So these, these are beautiful pigeons these. These have been raced out to 500 miles pigeons multiple times. I think the cock's done for 480 miles five or six times, uh, done well, Ten comes from another flag in Liverpool, uh, she's obviously related to this hen as well, and they've done the distance on multiple occasions as well, so just, that's what we're hoping for, we're more interested in channel racing than the short sprint races, so a lot of these pigeons were all bred for the channel. So we haven't had them on the darkness this season. Um, and they're just going to be race natural. As you can see, they're looking really scruffy. Going right through the malt at the moment. This, this hen here, her grandfather won the Welsh National two years ago. Like 2,400 pigeons. Means nothing, but the bloodlines are right in there. But we'll just see. Right, I'll take you through and show you the other part of the young birds, the other, the other team. The other team's been getting trained. Only out to 15 miles at the moment. I only started two weeks ago training now. But I'll get them out to about 60 miles. And they'll stay 60 miles for there. Uh, I'll go to few tosses. And then we'll just lock them off for the winter then. That'll be it. And we'll 
vegetables all day, it's off season. Go through and have a look at these now. Mm -hmm. Only small moths. There's going to be a stock lot for longer here eventually when this little lot goes. This is the uh, young bear lot. Just got through another look. A lot of these are off friends as well. Some gorgeous grizzles here. This is from a family of grizzles. Um, there's a guy in Wales, I won't mention any names on the video, they might not want me to say them. This is from a guy in Wales who's had them for 60 years and just bred good pigeons to good pigeons. Um, lovely grizzle family. Let's see if I can point a few more out for you. The white one in the back there, it's a same family. handle these pigeons and look at the wings and the body shape and the heads, they're all exactly the same. They're all due to each other. There's a black one there is the same, black little there, same family. This is that family from the Great Flyer and Art Club. Um, here's the brothers and staff families. Beautiful. Another one from the Grizzle family. As you say these are just going to get trained out of about 60 mile. Um, and we'll see how we go with them next year. Just hoping to build a big team up for the old bird race next season. Just so we can give it a good go. And Sort out if we've got anything good. We might get a few out of these. It's another grizzle from the grizzle family. That was given to us by another player. Very old fashioned breeding on that bird. All distance stuff. All the orange ring birds as well. They're from a friend of mine who races the distance. He's the only one in this club that races natural. He's raced 45 years. These are all bush arts. He brought some of the best bush arts over the years and just bred them into his family. And he's won at Barcelona with these pigeons, this family of pigeons. Obviously, it doesn't mean nothing to me. It's going to take us time to just to get a few birds from over the water. But if we can clock some birds from over the water in the next couple of years, I'll be happy with that. And we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, I've just got to get another stock loft where that little loft was. I'm going to put a little stock loft up there. And just any birds that we can get going. I'd, I'd rather test them and just buy stock birds. I'd rather just fly them hard than anything that's any good. I'll try and keep back and breed off it and just take it from there rather than just buying names off people and spending big money on birds. We've got good birds off good flyers here so we're just gonna fly them hard and see what we end up with. See if we can breed off anything ourselves then. Alright, I just thought to give it a little update because I haven't been on for a long time. Let you know what I was up to. Alright guys, take it easy now.